Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a, such an exciting video. So exciting. So exciting. It's exciting mostly because it's just random. It's so impromptu. And also it's exciting because I'm going to be p comparing one of my Holy Grail products to something I got at the drugstore. Usually when I do a dupe video or like a dupe comparison, I've already tested out the product in advance, so I already know it's a dupe. But today, this product, I literally bought it yesterday. I've never used it before, so I have no idea. So we're gonna find out together. You guys already know, this is my favorite powder of all time. I've used it every single day since I first discovered it over the summertime. It was in my best of 2017. It's magic powder, it's magic and it just works so well at blurring my pores. I have really big pores, you guys. Like, you can see my pores across the room. That's how big they are. And I'm gonna be doing a video on how to minimize them. That's gonna be coming in a couple weeks or so. I don't know, I've been talking about doing that video for such a long time and I haven't, and I'm gonna do it, I'm doing it. But anyway, this powder works so well at blurring and minimizing the pores that it quickly became like my favorite powder of all time. It was like Instagram filter in a container. You know what I mean? So yesterday, my girlfriend texted me and asked me if I had ever heard of this powder. And this is the Mario Badescu Special Healing Powder. And I was like, no, I haven't heard of it. And I actually have never used a Mario Badescu product in my life. So she told me that it was better than the Bye Bye Pores powder, which if you guys know, that used to be my Holy Grail powder before this guy came onto the scene. So I don't think she's ever used this powder. She was comparing it to the Bye Bye Pores and she said, this is better. And I thought, what? Because this is better. So if this is better, then is this as good as this? So I was like, I have to try it, I have to see. So I ran to Ulta that same day yesterday and I went and I got this powder and it was only $12 and I was like what so I just decided I need to compare these two and I'm gonna make a video because we need to see this on camera because if this is better than Urban Decay I will like I'll die like I will I, I don't, I'll be so disappointed and excited at the same time because it's half the price but also like I have a relationship, like I'm in a committed relationship with this powder. So mm -hmm. we'll have to see, we'll see how it goes. So today we're gonna put these to the test. We're having a drugstore battle, which before I get into that, into the battle, I just wanna say that when I went to go buy this at Ulta, I went to use my 350 coupon. You know how they give you those coupons, but then they say you can't use it on like high-end products, only the drugstore products. Well, they wouldn't let me use it on this. And I'm like, this is a $12 product. And they said that this is a premium brand. And I thought, this is a drugstore brand. What? What do you guys think about that? Do you think this is a premium brand? Are you considering this a premium brand? I just look at the price point and I'm like, no, it isn't. That is not premium brand price point. But I don't know. I'm not really well versed in this line. I know a lot of people love it, but... It's so affordable that it, I think of premium as like expensive, but maybe not. Maybe it's the more of like the um, ingredients they use. I, I don't honestly know, but I was kind of miffed that they wouldn't let me use my coupon. Total side note. So if you guys would like to see the battle of these two powders, see how this Mario Badescu stands up to my Holy Grail powder, then keep on watching. <clears throat> okay, so here's what I've got. Fill you in on what's on my face right now. So I have the Becca Backlight, no, I'm sorry, the Becca First Light Primer, along with the Dermalogica Hydro Blur Primer over my pores. For foundation, I am testing out this NARS foundation at the same time I'm doing a wear test to the same day right now that I'm shooting this. So I have this foundation on me right now. And then under my eyes, I just put a little bit of this Becca under eye brightening corrector. And I just like to use this with my finger and I just pressed it under the eye. 
So I am going to be applying concealer. I'm using two concealers because I'm just extra. I'm using the Naked Skin because I like to use this a little closer to my eye because it doesn't really crease and it's more like hydrating and my under eyes are just so dry right now. So I'm using this and I'm also using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. So before I apply that stuff, because I like to really put my powders on immediately after I apply my concealer, so I want to just kind of talk about the differences between the two powders. So I went to each website and I just gathered what information I could on each product. Um, the one thing that it didn't say is if this brand is cruelty free. Okay, so yes, it is. Both powders are cruelty free, which is great news. The Velvetizer is listed as an ultra fine powder, creates a smooth, soft focus effect. It can be used to mix in to your foundation or as a setting powder itself. So that's what why this is called a mixing medium. It is translucent. This one is not translucent. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it has a green tint to it. Velvetizer is free of oil, parabens, alcohol, and fragrance, which I love because I feel good about putting that under my eyes. There is 0.28 ounces of product in here, and it is $34. This one has 0.5 ounces, and this is $12. This one does contain talc, where the Velvetizer does not contain talc. This one is claims to be a multi-purpose powder. It absorbs oil, excess oil, fights shine. It's a deal, ideal for combo oily or sensitive, sensitive skin. It does say specifically, do not apply to the eye area. What good are you if I can't apply you to my eye area? So how I'm going to test these since I can't apply this to the eye area is I'm going to apply this to both eye areas after I put on concealer and then I'm going to use these powders to try to blur my pores because to me the most important thing about a powder besides not making my under eyes more dry than they already are is if it can blur my pores. So this one is called a special healing powder. It says that it decongests pores on the, on the um, package. It says that it is formulated for oily troubled skin and it's a gentle sulfur based powder that fights T-zone shine, decongests pores and balances oil in the skin. It is cruelty free, it says on it, and paraben free. Um, so, Let's just jump in, yeah? We'll just jump in. It's really weird that I haven't done a video on this powder because I talk about it all the time and I use it every single day. All right, so I'm just going to apply my concealer real quick and I'm just going to speed through this because it ain't about the concealer. Okay, so one side is blended. I'm just gonna quickly take my Velvetizer powder. And I like to use this brush here. This is a Sigma. Jesus, it's all worn off now. What is this brush? It doesn't even say. I'll list it down below. I'm going to just pop this right under the eye, just up here. And now I'm gonna blend out the other side. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the Urban Decay powder just under the eye. And I'm also going to set the center of my face because I'm not going to use the powder on the center of my face. Okay. So now I'm going to just place the Urban Decay powder how I normally would right over my pores in like a good amount, like um, like we're baking, we're gonna be baking. So I pile it on right here 
because I have this is the area where I have super large pores and then I like to apply a little right to the side of the mouth right there so now I'm going to take the Mario Badescu powder like so and it does look green it has like a green tint to it which is so weird I don't know how this is going to work but we're going to find out okay it definitely looks green it's not quite as finely milled as the Urban Decay powder as you can see, the Urban Decay powder almost like melts into my skin. This one like looks like green powder on my face. That's okay. We're going to give it a chance. So I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. Just bake into the skin. And then I'm going to dust it off. And we'll see how they both look. I'm just brushing this powder off so that I have nothing left on my brush. And I'm just going to wipe off the Urban Decay side. And there's really not hardly any powder to wipe off because it really does just melt into my skin. Which is one thing that I just love about this powder. So now I'm going to dust off this side. Well, right off the bat, my pores look just as good, I think. I think that it worked to minimize my pores a little bit, but like, I have a little shadowy areas on the sides of my mouth. I feel like they're much less noticeable on the Urban Decay side. Then on this side, I also have lines in my face that I was born with. It's genetic. My mother has it too. But I feel like it's less noticeable on the Urban Decay side. And you can kind of see it right there on the Mario Badescu side. I didn't really put a whole lot of powder up there, though. We'll say. So... And this side is actually worse. That little indentation is always worse on that side. And also, too, this side, I can see a little bit of redness peeking through, where this side, I don't see that at all. But so far, I kind of like this powder for 12 bucks. you know what I mean? Like, on days where I'm doing, like, nothing but, like, errands or, like, something super chill... I don't want to waste this powder because this one is $34. This one might be a nice alternative so that I'm not wasting the Urban Decay one. You know what I mean? I don't know. I almost feel like it gave me coverage too, which I wasn't expecting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and I will be back so you can see the finished look. I'm going to wear it throughout the day and we're going to kind of compare both sides of my face and see if this Mario Badescu powder is living up to my expectations, the bar that has been raised by Urban Decay. So I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, you guys, so I am back. All of my makeup is on. Let's see what we think about the powder. So, I really don't want to admit this, but I almost feel like my pores are a tiny bit less noticeable on the Mario side. Just a tiny bit. Something about that green tint, though, it, like, it's blurring things. I, I feel like it looks good. I really didn't want it to because I love my Velvetizer so much. But at the same time, it is less expensive. So 
it's kind of a bonus if in fact it is as good I don't like the fact that I can't put it under my eyes I feel like I want to put it under my eyes and just see what it does maybe we'll save that for another day let's just try to figure out where we're at with this powder I'm going to I, it looks great with my makeup I think it looks beautiful what do you guys think let me get closer let me turn the light down and let me get closer Which side do you guys think is better? Mario? Urban Decay. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and go about my day. I have lots to do. It is currently 2.17, so we're gonna see how this powder wears, and I'm going to just go about my normal routine. Uh, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna do all the things that I always do, and we're gonna see how these powders compare in the longevity and yeah how they wear throughout the day so i will check in with you guys in a bit moment of truth it is currently 10 24 pm i've had these powders on for a long time all right so we're gonna look at the situation I think that the Mario Badescu side, and I want to say that I've had these on for eight hours-ish by the time I got these powders on. I think it was like two something. I don't know if I, oh my goodness, I'm tired. I started that video around like 2.30. I've actually shot three videos today, so I'm like trying to think. I've had the powder on for about eight hours, and I do see cake right here a little bit of cake right there now I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's the powder or if it's a combination of the two because I am wear testing the NARS radiant longwear foundation but the urban decay side did not cake that said this side still has more coverage than this side does so my pores look pretty pretty similar but if I had to choose a side where they looked less prominent I would almost choose the Mario Badescu side I hate to say it so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this powder is definitely tied because this one, while it still stayed looking like skin, it still stayed melted into my face and looking like skin, I think that you can kind of see things peeking through a bit, whereas this side held up its coverage a little longer, but it did cake a little bit. So I feel like there are you know for whatever minus this has this has a plus and whatever this has as a minus this has a plus so they are I think that we're gonna call them a do I think that if you don't have $34 to spend on the velvetizer you could buy this special healing powder and get a similar effect and I actually I've been thinking about it all day and that's really exciting because I love this powder so much but I know that it's kind of pricey and it's outside of the price point for a lot of people. So I'm actually really excited that this is as good as this. I know I was complaining about it earlier saying like, you know, I'm in a full committed relationship with this powder. But for the purposes of what I'm trying to do with these drugstore battles and find like good affordable dupes, this is perfect because now there's an affordable option to this powder that is as good or very close. I think that you can't go wrong with either one. I'm impressed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have tried either one of these powders, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you like them, if you don't like them, if you're gonna try them, which one you want to try, which one did you think looked better. I'm interested in hearing you guys' thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social. I'm on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My handle is Latte. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>